welcome back to my channel. This is Alex from Alex's Innovations. I made a video on how to make this beautiful double Aztec bracelet and you guys seem to really like it but I was really rushed when making it and I actually was not able to get past here so I kind of had to like quick talk my way through the rest of the bracelet. So today is part two of that video. I'm going to finish off the bracelet. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, it will be a lot of repetition, so I will be referencing timestamps in the previous video. So if you're watching this on a computer, I recommend that you have two tabs open, one where you can switch back and forth from this one and that one. So I'm just going to be showing you the kind of in-between steps to that. Before we go any further in the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my first Patreon, Simon. They subscribe to the, my highest Patreon, which is the Starburst level, that is $30 a month. And you will get early access to my videos, you get bracelets in the mail from me, you get exclusive access to an Instagram group chat, and you get a shout out in my YouTube videos. So that's super cool, but you can also get cool other benefits by subscribing to others. The only unique benefit to the Starburst is the uh, bracelets every other month, but you also can get all the other benefits I listed below just by checking out my Patreon, the link is in my description down below. I'm super excited about this, and also I did not have any patrons when I first filmed this video, so that's why I'm editing in this clip of me right here. Yay! Thank you so much, I'm so grateful for supporting me and supporting my YouTube channel and my business and my future endeavors. You're amazing, and I hope to have a couple of you guys join the exclusive Patreon team soon, so thanks! So let's get started. I'm assuming that you watched my previous video, so I will assume that you have a beginning loop here, you have a shaped start, you have the sort of beginning diamond section, you have these chevrons over here, and then you have these double arrowhead sort of things. I think I stopped in the middle of the second arrowhead, so what I'm going to be doing is I already did a little bit of this bracelet. I did the third arrowhead for here, and then I did the blue chevron over this right green square, and so I'm going to finish up by doing a chevron over this left green square. So I'm going to clip this on my clipboard, and with this blue thread right over here, I'm just going to finish up with the chevron. So I'm going to do double backward knots all the way into the center. Alright, and once this blue chevron is done, I'm just going to seal everything up because these two chevrons really aren't connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish off these blue chevrons by doing a black double chevron. So I'll take the two black threads in the middle and tie them together. And then I'm going to do double forward knots down into the center of the right arrowhead. Then the black thread all the way in the right, I'm going to do double backward knots up until and including I reach the black thread in the center. Alright, and then with the black thread still in the center, I'm going to do the same thing as I did over here. I'm just going to do double backward knots up until I reach the center. And then with the black thread on the left, I'm just going to do double forward knots up until I reach the center of this other black diamond.
All right, now in the center here and on the two sides here, I'm just going to be doing the same thing that I did up here, but I'll just show you guys how to do this again in case if you forgot or if you don't want to reference the video. But if you don't want me to explain again, then reference the video at the timestamp shown here and I will explain how to do that in the first video. So grab the two dark green threads in the middle and tie them together. And then do two double forward knots with the green on the right side. And then do a forward backward knot over the blue thread. Then with the other green thread in the middle, do two double backward knots. And then a backward forward knot over the blue thread. Then with the yellow in the middle, knot both threads together. Then take the right thread and do a forward backward knot over the neon green thread. Then with the other yellow thread, do a backward forward knot over the neon green thread. And then knot the two yellow threads in the middle again. Now with the dark green thread on the left side, do two double forward knots. And then on the right side, do three double backward knots. Then with one of the black threads on the left side, do four double forward knots. And then with one of the black threads on this side, do five double backward knots. Alright, now take the dark green thread all the way on the right, and do two double backward knots. And then a backward forward knot. Then with the yellow thread, do a backward forward knot over the green thread. And then with the dark green thread, do two double forward knots. Then with the black thread, do four double forward knots. Alright, and then we're just going to repeat what we did here on this side, but we're going to reverse the knots. So take the dark green thread and do two double forward knots. And then do a forward backward knot. Then with the yellow thread, do a forward backward knot over the green thread. And then do two double backward knots with the green thread.
Now take the only black thread still in the middle and do four double backward knots. Alright, now I'm going to be repeating these blue diamonds right over here, so you can go to the timestamp shown here on the other video if you want to see that, but I'm just going to be showing you again right now, so you can just keep watching. So first we're going to start by making the diamond on the right, although there, it's the exact same process, so I'll just make this right one and then speed up the left one. So on the right, take the two blue threads and knot them together. Then do two double forward knots. and then a forward backward knot. Then with the other blue thread, do two double backward knots. And then a backward forward knot. Now knot the neon green threads together in the middle. Then with the one on the right, do a forward backward knot over the yellow thread. And then with the one on the left, do a backward forward knot over the yellow thread. Then knot the two green threads in the middle. And then with the blue thread on the left, do two double forward knots. And then with the blue thread on the right, do three double backward knots. Now take one of the black threads in the middle and do four double forward knots. And then with this black thread over here, do five double backward knots. Alright, so now that I've made the diamond on the right, the diamond on the left is the exact same thing, so just go to the timestamp shown here if you want to see me explain how to make the right diamond again, but just do it on the left side. But for now, I'm just going to be speeding this part up. Alright, so I'm finishing up my two blue diamonds. Now we're just going to be repeating these green diamonds right over here and then these blue diamonds one more time. So you can skip back to the timestamp shown in this video right here and I'll walk you through again how to make these green diamonds and then these blue diamonds. So I'm just going to be making another layer of these. So I'm just going to speed that up for now. Alright, I'm finishing up my repetition of the diamonds. Now I'm going to be making a row of double chevrons between this diamond portion and the arrowhead portion. Um, I do feel bad because I'm making you guys switch around between videos and rewind and forward a lot, so I'm just going to show you guys how to do that, but you can skip to the timestamp here if you don't want me to show you that. <laughs> Sorry. So take the two dark green strings in the middle and knot them together. And then with this one, you're going to do four double forward knots.
and then with the green on the right, do five double backward knots. Alright, now take the other green in the middle and do a four double backward knots. And then with the green on the left side, do five double forward knots. Alright, and then you're going to repeat this row of double chevrons twice more. You're going to do it once for the citrus, and then once for the neon green threads. And then stop once you reach the neon green threads. I'll just be speeding this part up because this is just the same thing as I showed you above. Alright, now what I'm going to be showing you is the exact same thing that I showed you up here. Um, you're going to be making three of these little diamond things, and my bracelet is looking a little bit crooked right now, but <laughs> you're going to be making three of these arrowhead things. Um, the timestamp for the previous video is shown here if you want to reference that, but I'm going to be ending after the blue diamond here. I'm just going to be showing you guys how to make a shaped end for this bracelet, so I'm going to fast forward this section. I'm going to be doing these two rows of neon green arrowheads, so let's go. Alright, so I am done with the second part of the arrowhead for this bracelet, which means that I am pretty much done, but just what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a shaped end for right over here. So I've finished my double arrowhead with the blue chevron over here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these black strings and just make one more chevron. This is really up to you, you can end it whenever you want, you can do a lot of chevrons here to make it longer. I personally am not restricted in terms of length of string, I have a lot of string left, so I'm just going to do a black double chevron here, and then we'll work on the shaped end. Just letting you know guys, I do have a very detailed shaped end tutorial. The link is in the card and also in the description below. Here I'm just going to be showing you a more specific version of the shaped end. Like more specific as it pertains to this bracelet, but if you want to learn how to make this end for other bracelets, you can definitely check out that video. I show you how to make a shaped end, and I do it in much more detail than I do here. <laughs> now that you've made as many chevrons as you want, I'm only going to make one with the black because I personally think that looks best. Then take the two middle strings, for me it is dark green, and you're going to knot these two together. You're not going to be doing any chevron, just knot these two together. This is going to be preparing us for later. So now on the right side, I'm going to take the dark green thread and the neon yellow thread. And with the neon yellow thread, I'm going to do a double forward knot over the green thread. Then I'm going to hold these two together and I'm going to grab the next thread, for me it's neon green, and over both of these strings, I'm going to do a double forward knot. So this yellow string is sort of pulled in towards the center. Then I'm going to group this green thread with the rest of these ones, and then with the blue, I'm going to do another double forward knot. Then I'm going to group the blue with the rest of the threads, and then with the black, I'm going to do a double forward knot as well. I'm going to reverse this on the other side. I'm going to take the edge two strings, and with the yellow, I'm going to do a double backward knot over the green thread. Then I'm going to group those threads together, and then with the neon green thread, I'm going to do a double backward knot. Then I'm going to group that with these three, and then with the blue, 
I'm going to do double backward knot as well. And finally with the black I'm going to do a double backward knot over all of these. Now we're just going to repeat what we did on the outside, but we're going to do it on the inside. So here I'm just going to do these strings right over here. I'm going to take my yellow and my green, and with the yellow I'm going to do a double backward knot over the green, then group these two together. Then with the neon green I'm going to do a double backward knot over these two, and then group that together. Then I'll take the blue thread and do a double backward knot over this group. And finally, I will take a black thread and do a double backward knot. Alright, three out of our four chevrons are done, so now I'm going to take the yellow and the green thread over here, and with the yellow I'm going to do a double forward knot over the green. Then I'm going to group these two together, and then with the green I'm going to do the same thing. And just keep going down the line with double forward knots. And your shaped end is done. I like to end my bracelet with braids, but you can personally do whatever you'd like. Since I did a beginning loop at the top, I will need two ties of some kind. You can do twisted ties, you can leave them like this, or you can just braid them. But you need to have two of them, so you can bring one of them through here, and then the other one you can tie on. So I'm just going to braid this, and then you'll be done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video and want to see more, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep the bracelets coming. Make sure you hit the bell that says all so you're notified for each one of my new videos. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon. By contributing just a little bit each month, you can gain exclusive benefits like early access to my videos and bracelets shipped regularly to your front door. My Patreon is Alex's Innovations. The link is in the card and also in the description down below. If you're not already, follow me on Instagram at Alex Innovations. I do polls and surveys there that I later feature in my videos, so by checking out my profile, you can help me make better videos. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.